I'm going to review Tailspin. It's actually a really good game. And one more thing. Super Nintendo. I wanna stick my game up in your console. If it don't work, take it out and blow. And get my joystick bouncing off of your tonsils. It's the retro gamer real. It's fucking legit. Reviewing games from the 90s and shit. So sit back, crack a beer, drink some shiner with it. If you ain't in the game, you ain't playing right. I'm getting so real cramped. If you ain't winning the game, you ain't playing it right. If you ain't winning the game, you ain't playing it right. If you ain't winning the game, you ain't playing it right. Wonderful. All right, pick a card. Seriously, pick one of these cards. Get it in your mind. I'm gonna tell you what. Which one you picked? that one you picked that one you fucking did too stop shaking your head look this game's pretty cool it's like a diamond in the rough so basically you get to pick which level you want to do and I always pick this level first here's why it's probably the hardest level and if you don't fucking beat this level then you're just gonna waste your time beating all the other levels and then get there and then get fucked. Now, on this embossed, don't stop running. Make sure you have enough life that you can run behind them. And then, you can just hit them in the fucking head over and over again and they can't turn around. And boom. You got the first piece of the puzzle. You're collecting artifacts. Sign? Oh, and this is a cool part too. Baloo, you know, he flew around in his airplane, but that, he had a little sidekick little britches who would hang behind with like a rope and sky surf so you basically have to in, in between each level you can do this and it's kinda like you're guiding the ship and uh, it's always the same map so just memorize where the continue is and boom that little C that was a continue now there's two paths you can take right here and I usually take the higher path you know what I'm saying always take the higher path <laughs> alright so here's the witch doctor I just try to throw fucking those balls just throw your balls everywhere man Oh, I got him. Just straight up on that, boss. You just gotta sling your balls. Sling them to the wind. Alright, so the level that I usually do next is the Great Simeon Reef level. And it's really not... It's probably not harder than the, the other level I could have picked. But I just like to get it out of the way. It's really easy. But... It's all about timing. Like, you basically just have to duck. And the final boss, like, I really don't know what else to say. You just basically stay in the middle and hold up. And he'll just fly right into the path. And die. With this level, you want to just keep running forward. And every couple seconds, throw one of those balls. Oh, son of a bitch. See, those motherfuckers hate you. They're throwing wrenches. You're on the elevator, and they're still throwing wrenches at you. What did I ever do to them? All right, so here's this long-ass hallway, and you want to just keep chunking. Just chunking your balls. Just chunk them. To the windows. And if you can, bounce them off the walls. I mean, literally, till the sweat drips off the balls. This is me. I mean, I got one life here. Don't you hate that when you got one life to lose, you know what I'm saying? But you're still playing and you're like, well, 
I'm probably not going to get past the boss, but I'm going to make it in there. I'm going to start slaying. Oh, I beat him with one life. Look at that. Straight up doo dooed in his face. Oh, shit. They got all the pieces. And he's like, oh, there's the map. It's up in the sky. Oh, and they're like, oh, we just went and went through all that shit. And you're going to tell us it's the, the, the way to Ionia is in the sky? So you switch into airplane mode. And you start slinging grease or something at them. I don't even know what that is. You're halfway through the level. Or, well, now it's actually almost the end. And then all of a sudden... Wait for it. Boom. Your plane just goes up top, and those pieces just fall out. Now, how in the fuck did the pieces just fall out of the plane? Somebody fucked up. I think it was Baloo. He's been drinking. So now you gotta go play as the other guy. And he, you can't throw anything. He's got no balls. This guy has no balls. He can fly, though. And the object is to climb all the way up these stairs, and you gotta dodge these dudes that will just, like, if they even touch you, you get hurt. You lose a life. And you gotta... The best way to do this is to know the pattern. And... I believe... I fucked up. Yeah, there's one piece I didn't get. So then you have to go all the way back up these stairs with no balls and hope that these motherfuckers don't bust your ass. So you got balls again, you're blue, and you're in the Golden City. This is the last level. I mean, the game's, it's got style. To sling your balls in two different directions at the same time, that takes a little bit of practice. So then you gotta jump on this elevator, and you gotta know to wait to go to the top, and then blindly just jump and land on the next one. Otherwise you won't make it. And now the trick here on this final boss, I didn't know it for a while. I couldn't figure it out. But you've got to sling your balls at the wall. It's balls to the wall. Don't don't throw them at him. Jump over him and sling all your balls at the wall. And they'll all roll back and kill him. Boom. Balls to the wall, baby. <laughs> Excellent, Baloo. Your talents have served you well. Alright, so basically, you think you're going to get a bunch of gold and shit. You know what I'm saying? But this winds up explaining to you that you don't. As spokesman for the Ionian people, I have come to commend you on your skill and determination. Both as a pilot and an adventurer. But Silly Baloo... The earthly treasures you seek no longer exist in Ionia. We learned that long ago. We learned long ago that the true treasures of life are not the treasures of man, but of the spirit. Believe in yourself and in others, and you will attain all that you desire. The power lies within each individual to shine as bright as the sun. Wow. I never thought, you know, a TurboGrafx-16 game could be so deep. But that's pretty deep. That's balls deep. You know what, I'm going to give this game a 10. I don't see how they could have done this any better for what it is. I mean, it's not the greatest game in the world, but it's got a lot of different uh, facets to it. I had fun. What more could you fucking want? Roll the incredits, you fuck.